Well, we know that the first fight for Halo Infinite is going to be four players versus bots. But how good are those bots? Well, from Joseph Stain, it sounds like they're better than you. How so? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now that we have some concrete information about the upcoming flight that it sounds like it's going to be coming next weekend for us guys, so make sure you sign up for the Insider Program. And this first flight is going to be four players versus four bots. Now I've been reading many comments on my videos and also on Twitter saying some people are rather disappointed that it's going to be only bots, but these bots sound like they know what they're doing. So in this video, I want to go into detail about what Joseph Staten said about bots, and he paints a great picture about how these bots are actually rather intelligent and they play like actual players. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So it's within this section right here. This is at the end of the most recent July development update, which we did make a video on. If you guys want to check it out, it's already on the channel here. It goes into the, all the details that you need to know when it comes to the infinite flighting process. But in that video, I kind of skimmed over what Joseph Staten said about bots within this section. It's really interesting stuff. So in this video, I wanted to break that all down for you guys because it's some really interesting things that he mentioned about bots within Halo Infinite. And these don't sound like pushover bots. They sound rather intelligent. A little bit of a historical reference as well when it comes to bots and Halo. This isn't the first time they've actually tried doing it within the Halo franchise, saying in the early Halo games, they were a feature that we always wanted to land, but that consistently got cut due to limited time and resources, especially during those early days of Halo that would have been super useful, especially in CE, because there was no online matchmaking for CE. So it would have been really nice to have bots back then. And I could have sworn I read a rumor back in 2004 that there was going to be bots in Halo 2. Like I could have sworn I read that somewhere. I was telling all my friends, oh my God, there's going to be bots in Halo 2. It's going to be great. And then it didn't happen. So I was fake news before it was cool. Bots come in four flavors, Recruit, Marine, ODST, and Spartan, with each level representing an increase in bot skill. And he's like, okay, well, I want a little bit of a challenge, but not something too crazy, right? Because from previous experience of bots that sometimes they could be complete derps and just walking in a straight line or walking in the walls and not even shooting anything to absolute laser beam aimbot champions. Like I remember playing Black Ops 1 when they had bots in custom games. Winning a free-for-all match on like veteran level bots on Black Ops 1 back in the day was like a legitimate feat. Because those bots would do straight up 180s, no scope you like right in the head. Like it was ridiculous. But Joseph Satan talks about saying, well, he wants a little bit of challenge but nothing too crazy. So he loads into a bot match with ODST level bots. He's like, oh, I got 20 years of Halo play underneath my belt. I know what I'm doing. I've made these games for years. How can an ODST level bot be any kind of threat? Well, it sounds like it is. Staten says, within 30 seconds of the start of a Slayer match in the sun-baked new Mombasa Street Market at the center of the arena map Bazaar, I found myself in a classic Halo combat dance with a bot who did an alarmingly good job sidestepping shots from my sidekick pistol and then dropped my shields with a well-thrown grenade. As I retreated from the market through an archway, peppering the bot with a few more rounds, I thought, no worries, I'll just crouch behind one of these big wooden doors and wait for my shields to recharge because I'm pretty sure this bot won't be smart or brave enough to. At which point, the bot sprinted through the door, clocked my position, and finished me off with two very confident blasts from the Bulldog shotgun. So it sounds like 343 has done a good amount of research on how to create these bots and have them act as people who play Halo rather than just being like mindless bots to just go, I see bad guy, go there. It seems like they have some decent logic behind them to make them act like a true player would. Because in any situation, if you take a player down with one shot, you want to chase them down to get that kill. And that's an ODST level bot. That's not even the highest level bot. And that sounds like a very intelligent AI created for these bots. So even though we're going to be playing 4v4 bots when it comes to the first flight, which I will say it sounds like a little bit of a disappointment, but actually overall it might be the better play for 343 to do that. That 
these bots won't be just like walking in straight lines and just derping around the map. They'll be playing the game. They'll be throwing grenades at you. They'll be chasing you down when you're one shot. Doing the classic Halo dance like they mentioned, strafing around left and right, dodging shots. That's a really intelligent play by a bot. And Joseph Stain goes into more details of what to expect from these bots because they have some really interesting programming. Some more examples of bot behavior, ODST and Spartan bots will effectively dodge grenades and rockets, recruit and marines will not. All bots use equipment and higher level bots will grapple shot to you to finish you off with a melee. I've seen them do this with energy swords which is amazing and terrifying. Bots keep track of power weapon spawns and sprint to claim them. But most importantly bots are fair. We don't change their health and damage values per difficulty level. They just get smarter and more resourceful the higher you go. So dodging shots, dodging rockets, dodging grenades, grabbing power weapons. I mean, these sound like actual players. In fact, probably better than some players you'll find online, honestly. And I love the fact that they actually get smarter the more difficult they get. They don't artificially boost the difficulty by having them deal out more damage and take less damage when you shoot them because that would kind of ruin the consistency of the feel of playing Halo, right? So they actually put in the time and effort to actually make them smarter bots rather than just like chunkier bots. And also as a reminder the way that the arena bot matches will play out for the first flight will be four players against four bots on three different maps. The maps will be Bazaar, Recharge, and Live Fire. You'll also be playing against bots in the Academy Weapons Drill which you saw a quick little preview in the Halo Infinite multiplayer overview actually. And there you'll get a chance to play with the MA40, the BR, the Sidekick, the Bulldog, Needler, Commando, Sniper, Plasma Pistol, Pulse Carbine, Ravager, Heat Wave, and the skewer which then confirms the weapon that we saw within the multiplayer reveal trailer this weapon right here is the heat wave the ricochet crazy looking like forerunner style kind of weapon it's the official name of this now now we know exactly what this is called so we can get looking forward to doing some crazy bounce shots with this heat wave weapon which is kind of crazy i don't really see how it involves heat in any way but it's a cool name and it has some really cool effects i'm looking forward to it so this is exactly why they created the weapon drills and the academy because there's gonna be continual new content coming into Halo Infinite. You're gonna to wanna to sit down and actually kinda of learn these weapons because 343 is putting a big emphasis on sandbox and new weapon mechanics, but also having each weapon fit its own role and play a unique style within the sandbox of Halo Infinite. So it's super important to get a chance to jump into the game, handle the weapons, see how the shoots, see where the damage profile plays out, how to shoot the weapon and get more acclimated with the experience. That's why they're going with bots, I think, for the first time for the flights for Halo Infinite is because it puts less pressure on people to do well in the game and just instantly find what works and just stick with that. With bots, it probably have a chance to play around with the sandbox a little bit more, not be so meta when it comes to your gameplay style and weapons that you choose to play around with. You can play around with the sandbox at your own leisure and not have to worry about the stresses of like performing well so you don't let your team down. Plus the Academy is going to be a great spot for me to do like tutorial videos on new weapons and weapon mechanics within Halo Infinite to showcase you guys like, hey, some unique new things that you might have never known about or missed out from just playing the game. So I will be definitely utilizing the weapon drills a lot when it comes to playing Halo Infinite as well as playing bots. So if you're new to the channel and miss any news or information about Halo for the last few days or so, I got a playlist right here that will link you to all my daily Halo news uploads for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.